welcome back to my channel. My name's Tess and I make videos about stretching our money as far as I can. And today's a little bit of a different video. Um, I'm just wanting to share some concerns. <laughs> I know that I won't be the only one with these concerns. Um, but the further we get into the situation as a country and as a globe that we're in, <clears throat> the more worried I am. Um, I'm turning that worry into positive action. I'm not sitting around fretting and not doing anything about it. And that's, I suppose, the, what I want to get across to everybody today is to prepare now as best you can for what I think will be coming next spring. Um, I'm going to put a link below to an interview with Martin Lewis, who I think is a fantastic person. He's got great advice and he has a f degree of influence as well in the political sphere. So um, I have a lot of hope resting on Martin Lewis's um, influence. He's, he's a political, he's not a political, um, he's not a politician, but he is a campaigner. And um, I'll put a link to the interview with him down at the bottom. There are lots of um, interviews with him on YouTube, lots of um, him just talking to us on YouTube. So he's worth looking at if you haven't already. Um, so what I'm concerned about is what's likely to happen next spring. So currently, um, average... Um, gas and electricity costs per for households is are around two and a half thousand pounds and um, a year and the government are supplementing people's payments for gas and electricity to the tune of 60 pounds a month um, over the winter but that will stop and um, Next spring, there's predicted to be, again, at least another 50% rise in fuel bills, which should put the average bill for a year up to £4,500. <laughs> um, fuel bills have already doubled, and they're going to double at least again. Um, and on top of that, for those who have a mortgage... Um, interest rates are likely to go up to the point where you'll be paying another £200 a month for every £100,000 of mortgage debt you have. So if you have a £300,000 mortgage, that's an extra, I can hardly say it, an extra £600 a month to find to pay your mortgage. Um, even if you only have a £100,000 mortgage, it's an extra £200 a month on top of increasing food prices, increasing fuel prices, doubling on doubling f fuel prices. Everything's going up, food's going up. Um, so the outlook for the spring, when the £60 payments stop and all of these increases come into place are really the outlook's quite concerning and even people who are quite comfortable um, are going to really be at the moment and managing okay are going to really start to struggle so in this video I thought I would tell you what I'm doing to prepare for that situation and encourage you to start now to prepare for those, those increases in bills. I am very thankful that we don't have a mortgage anymore. Um, but we do need to heat our home and have light and cook and have showers <laughs> and all those things. And food prices are going up and um, we still need to face all of that. So um, I'm very focused at the moment on buying food before it goes up even more to stock up our pantry. Um, and as you know, we have a 
log burner so we're currently using that to heat the house it's not so warm upstairs but it, the heat does definitely go upstairs um, uh, we're using wood that I've gathered through the year that was free so far I have bought some coal some smokeless fuel um, I bought as much as I could before that went up <laughs> but now I'm buying it at the um, higher price but um, it's still cheaper than putting the central heating on and we can heat food up on the top of it it's just a regular log burner um, but um, we can stand a pan or a kettle on it and heat up on there um, we have a camping stove that we can use outside in the shed to cook on as well um, but I'm very very focused on upping my game as far as longer term food storage goes I've never really um, done this before um, but I suppose the situation during Covid um, alerted me to the fact that we need a, a stock because um, um, I've always made some of our bread um, but then during Covid everybody started making bread <laughs> and I couldn't get any bread flour and um, I did eventually but it just it unsettled me, it made me realise that um, food security is really important so um, I'm stocking up now as best I can um, we're using Olio, the food app to get some food for free to, to allow me to keep our weekly food budget low so that I can then spend a bit of money every week on stocking up the pantry um, I'm making sure that we all have warm clothes over winter socks and hats, gloves, jumpers, dressing gowns um, we've, I've got hot water bottles for us all for when it's really cold we have lots of blankets because I make blankets and quilts um, so pretty much the same as other people really I'm making sure that we can stay warm without having to use the heating very often I'm sure we'll be we'll have to use it at some points but um, we'll try and keep that to an absolute minimum and we've stocked up on LED um, movement motion sensor lights for in the house so that we can move around the house in the dark without needing a head torch um, or any other form of light because the lights come on when we go into the room and as long as you keep moving they stay on <laughs> if you stop moving they go off but you just have to move again and they come back on um, so yes trouble in times really um, I like to keep my channel very positive and I hope this is just a look at yes there are difficulties coming but if we do what we can now to get ready for them then um, we'll be better prepared uh, and that's I suppose what I'm trying to do and what I'll encourage you to do um, so that whatever happens early next year we can get through it as best as we can um, yeah. so I hope you're all well and doing okay let me know down in the comments what you're doing to prepare for next year or what you're doing just to get through this day <laughs> um, I do hope you're all okay and I'll speak to you down in the comments take care now bye for now